In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make three very simple gradient overlay effects in Photoshop. All right, so for the first effect, you can pretty much use whatever image you want. Once you have that image, just go down here to your adjustment layers, this little half circle thing, click on that and put on a gradient. That's gonna be a gradient fill layer right here and it's gonna open up this dialog box. The first thing we're gonna do is click in this little gradient thing right here, which is gonna open up the gradient editor and then we can mess around in here. Now, I'm not gonna show you how to manipulate everything in here, but if you wanna know more about gradients, check the links in the description below. So we're just gonna start with one of these presets up here. So I'm gonna to go to, let's say reds, and I'm gonna pick this one right here. So once you pick a preset, you're gonna see it show up, and then it's gonna have these color boxes here. Now, for each of them, you can change the color by just clicking on it, and then clicking here, and then changing your color. So maybe I'm just gonna make it a little bit more yellow. You can see it changed down here automatically. I'm gonna click okay. And then if you wanna add new ones, just click anywhere and that'll put a new one based on whatever color you had. And you can just click in and change that one as well. So maybe I wanted to make that one a lighter blue and you can move them around to change where the colors show up. And you can also, if you wanna get rid of any, just click on them and drag them out. Okay, so just make the color gradient the way that you want and then click OK. Then you just gotta pick your style. So I'm gonna keep it as linear, but you can change it to radial and mess around. You can also change the angle. So if I go back to linear, you can change the angle that this thing goes. So I'm gonna go maybe you know bottom to top. I'm gonna to put purple at the bottom and yellow at the top. And you can scale it up to kind of spread it out, like smooth it out or scale it down. So it'll be a harsher band from your one side to the next, and it'll be like a harsh transition. So I'm gonna put that back up to 100 or around 100. And then I'm just gonna click Dither to make it more of a smooth transition. Okay, so once that's good, click OK. Then we just have to go over here to our opacity and drop it down a bit. So I'm gonna to go to about you know 85 to 90%, somewhere in there, and you can see that your image is gonna pop through there. And that's pretty much it for this effect, but there's a few final touches that we can do. Like if you add text, you can see it looks really good with this effect. You can also double click back in here to your gradient and even click and move it if you want. So if you didn't like the positioning, or obviously you can go back in and let's say, you know, crunch these down if you want kind of more purple and yellow on the top and more of a band across the middle, you know, whatever you want to do to mess that up. You can, you know, change the angle, do whatever you have to do in here. And you can also kind of change how the background looks as well. So if you go to your background layer, your image layer, and this time with the adjustment layer thing, add a curves. If you want more contrast, then just drag this bottom one down and maybe this one up. And you can see that that creates more contrast in your image behind the gradient. Or you can go the opposite way and maybe drag this down and that kind of mutes your image a little bit. Or you can do that by dragging this bottom little thing here dragging that up as well. That'll mute your image. So basically just play around with curves and your gradient fill until you get the look that you want. Okay, so for effect number two, I'm gonna show you how to make this gradient haze effect that goes over top of your image. So that's the original image and that's what we are going to be creating. So same steps, go to your original image layer, go to the adjustment layers here, click on it and put on a gradient and then go into the gradient editor and pick your colors. So I'm gonna go into purples, let's say this time, and I'm just gonna pick this one right here. And then maybe I'm gonna add a new color in here and make it just kind of like a little bit of a brighter blue. So there's a few colors, click okay, and then click okay. Once you have the colors and position that you want. Uh, I'm gonna come back in here after and mess with a few things. For now, I'm just gonna click okay. And then all we're gonna do is over here in blend modes, instead of normal this time, we're gonna click on that and put it to screen. And you can see that that creates the effect already. You can go to opacity again if you want and you know tone it down a bit. I'm gonna go to, you know let's say about 75, something like that. Obviously you can go back into the gradient fill editor here and change some things. So I might kind of change the angle a little bit so there, there's you know a little bit more pink or whatever down here. You can go back in and change your color. So maybe I go in here and you know intensify that so there's a little bit more down there. I'm also going to uh, you know, scale it back a bit and then change the angle this way because I kind of want the, the pink to kind of line up with the angle of the shore here. And that's about it. That one is completely done. All right, so the last effect that I'm gonna show you is basically an image grading effect that you can apply on your image using gradients. 
And the best images to use for this are usually ones that are taken at night that kind of already have some lights and stuff in it. So this is the original image and this is how I altered it with a gradient. So just like the last two times to get started, just click on your image layer, go down to your image adjustments, click on that and then add a gradient. We're gonna go into our gradient editor and we're gonna pick our colors again. So maybe this time I'll go to greens and maybe pick this one. Uh, maybe in the middle here, I'm gonna make like a pink that I had. So something like that, I'm gonna change this one maybe to you know that kind of greeny blue somewhere in there. Click okay and I'm just gonna slide this up a bit. I'm gonna slide this one over to kind of crunch it into the middle a little bit more and click okay. And then I'm gonna click okay again and switch my blend mode. This time we're gonna switch it to soft light though. And you can see that there's a few other ones that you can pick that will give you kind of a cool effect. Like those ones all suck, but like soft light, overlay, either one of those. Like overlay has a little bit more kick to the colors and soft light is a little bit more muted. So I'm just gonna pick soft light. That's usually the one that works the best for most things. And again, you can adjust your opacity if you need as well. So I'm just gonna duck it down a little bit. And that's pretty much it for this one. But there's a few things that I'm gonna show you to enhance this one as well. So the first one is actually that we can double click over here to the side of our gradient fill, which is gonna bring up this layer style menu. And the only thing we're gonna do in here is adjust our blend ifs. So for underlying layer here, if we hold Alt or Option on a Mac, and click on one of the sides of these things. So just one side, you can separate them. And as I slide it, you're gonna see that the blacks, like the shadows are gonna kinda creep back in. So look down here how green this is. And then when I slide this, some of those shadows just kinda creep back in from the underlying layer, which is our original image. And you can do the lights on this side, like the highlights on this side. It's not much that's gonna change in this image, but for the shadows, it's nice to kinda bring some of those original ones back into the image and then click OK. And then we can also apply a couple adjustment layers as well. So I'm gonna go down here. This time I'm gonna choose levels. And this is another one that you can do to add contrast or you know, or not. Uh, this, this little slider right here, this will make your darks brighter. So sometimes people do this kind of like fading, like hazy kind of look to images like this that gives it kind of a cool effect. And then we can also, if you're kind of wanting to adjust your colors really quick, but don't wanna go back into the gradient editor, you can also go in here and add a hue saturation. And I would suggest just dumping the opacity down first to like 25, 30%. And then this allows you to just slide it along and you can kind of slowly change your colors to mess with them a little bit if you want or increase the saturation. You know, there's a few things you can do in here. And then obviously you can go back into the gradient editor if you want and do those same things. So if you wanna, you know, tweak the angle, you know, do whatever to create some sort of effect. You can do anything in here again, scale it up, scale it down, change your colors, do whatever you need, click OK. And that's it. That's three different, very easy gradient overlay effects in Photoshop. If you got something out of this video, make sure to drop a like. And if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing and I'll catch you next time.